of the passages that has meant a great deal to me in these last days is the passage found in 1 Kings chapter 19. For the last several weeks, my devotional time has been in the life of Elijah the prophet. But here you find Elijah the prophet passing the mantle on to Elisha. And in that process, Elisha slaughters the very ox that he's plowing with, provides a great feast. But in essence, he's saying, I am leaving this old way of life to follow the will of God. Not long ago, I was headed to a meeting, and in order to get to where I needed to be, I had to fly. And I made a foolish mistake. I've always carried a pen knife in my pocket, a very small one, in fact, smaller than this little knife. But I failed to remove it from my pocket when I got to the airport. Going through the security lines, trying to get to my flight, the security agent told me that in order to go on, I would have to give up my pocket knife. Now, folks, that little knife is not large enough to really do any damage to anyone because it was even smaller than this one. In fact, I would say the only way that little knife could have been lethal if someone were to attempt to swallow it and choke on it. But the fact is, for me to get to the destination, I had to give up something that had been a part of my life for over 10 years as I toted that little knife. But let me ask you to consider this. What is it that God has called you to give up to follow Him? I pray that you and I would always respond to God as Elisha did. That the giving up is not only a sacrifice, it is a sacrifice that can be shared with joy. Thank you for your sacrifice because I know every one of you has given up something to follow the Lord Jesus Christ in your call. You're making a difference in your ministry and when it gets tough, remember that what you have given up is very insignificant when you compare it to what God gave up in allowing Christ to come and die for us. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your encouragement. And please know I am here to serve, to love, and to encourage you as your chief encouragement officer. Together we are making a difference in New Mexico and touching the world. God bless.